let's for one moment you've spoken from the point of view of journalists let's for one moment speak from the point of view of government not this government any government but imagine for a moment you were media advisor to prime minister modi uh what would be worrying you today from the government's point of view no don't, don't speak from the media's point of view well or do you believe their media narratives are quite crafty and where they want them to be smart no i think what would worry me i mean as an individual I mean, no if you were in this role if you were in yeah, the role in, to advise the prime minister in this role as myself yes not not no as, no as you dr baru yes, yes as me Uh, in this role, same person yes i would worry about the damage that my actions are doing to my country's reputation i think the one single worry i have with the way in which media is trolled criticized attacked uh made to appear as if uh, it is in fear is the fact that i am a great democracy i have been a great democracy you know we used to feel proud of our democracy as indians when people compared india with china and said oh china is there india is here i would say i am willing to give that gap because of my freedom of speech right that it's to and if india as a democracy could grow at an average rate of growth from 1980 to 2020 40 years our average rate of growth let's say is around 6% and china's average rate of growth let's say maybe around 9% so i've foregone that 3% and what have i gained in exchange i've gained my freedom when if ever have you had a somewhat detailed conversation with the prime minister with modi prime, prime, prime minister modi. modi only when he was chief minister not as prime minister not as prime i met him a couple of times particularly when our secretary general of fiki yeah he came for our annual general meeting uh and so the only photo uh, that's not the only photograph i have two photographs with him but first one was when he was chief minister i met him in ahmedabad mm. i was editor of business standard yes so as a journalist i met him but as a prime minister i have not interacted with him except at fiki agm and if you were to meet him tomorrow and let's let's close with that question if you were to meet him tomorrow one point you've already made is your feeling about india's reputation on the global stage as a democracy is there anything else you would like to say to him and is there anything else you'd like to understand from him i would say to him sir i was raised from my childhood as a purest of the pure brahmins the consciousness in my head from my grandparents my parents we were brahmins of the bharatwaj gotra we regarded ourselves as superior and i have evolved intellectually culturally to recognize that this system is an abhorrent system of caste that all humans are equal i was a member of the communist party for 10 15 years of my life when we believed in these great slogans of the french revolution liberty equality fraternity mm-hmm. i be- grew up believing that this is the strength of india a society hierarchically structured along caste for thousands of years hierarchically structured on the ownership of land feudal that had become a democracy in which constitution said all are equal why do all indians no longer feel equal why is there this sense of superiority of some against the other why have we come to this and what can you as a popular leader do to reverse this process get hindu society to accept not just the equality of within the hindu society that all castes are equal that all religions are equal you know this principle because that is the foundation of our nation you know i mean really seriously i think obama when he said you know this communal divide happens in india can be pulled apart and he was trolled for saying that i think what he meant was you can have at a national level what you are now seeing in manipur what is happening in manipur two communities fighting each other but i think there was also a sense that the americans um 
were not on a perch that they could speak from. I mean, look at what happened in Capitol Hill yeah, on the 6th true, of January. Look what's happening with the Supreme Court. And, but I don't think know, Obama abortion rights. denies it about his own country, right? I mean, I, I know, but can you imagine an Indian prime minister making a Why comment? No, it just doesn't happen. Why not? I mean, we criticize Pakistan for what it is. We do. Because Our Pakistan political... has hurt us directly. No, no, but no, forget about hurting us. We criticize them about the nature of their society. We, we, because we feel proud to be a democracy. Of course. And we say, what kind of fellows are you? You know, you have had so many military dictators. You are not a democracy, mm. right? We have said that about our other neighbors that are not democracies. So I think democracies globally have this privilege that they can speak freely about other democracies or about other nations. Because you are then practicing what you preach. I, I am a democratic society and therefore when I'm asking you to be a democracy, I'm preaching what I practice. I'm not preaching something I don't practice. 